I had to record that again. <laughs> I get distracted. <laughs> so tomorrow is Easter, and this year I've decided to make an Italian Easter pie for our Easter meal. I am not Italian, but I have made it once before, two years ago. I thought it was really good. I'm not sure about the kids, but I'm going to make two kinds. I'm going to make a low carb version and a regular version. So even though I've made it before, I decided to look up some different recipes and I found one for the pie crust. Okay, what I figured out is that every Italian mother and grandmother and father and grandfather, whoever did the cooking in their house, must have their own version for Italian Easter pie. So I looked up some different recipes and found a couple, three or four, and I'm going to kind of mix them all up. And this year I'm gonna try a new recipe for the crust. I lost my recipe. I just had it on little tiny post-it note cards. I found the recipe. See that? Ooh, I don't know if it'll focus on it. Ooh, there it is. Ooh. All right, I've got two cups of warm water. To that, I am going to add some yeast because we want the yeast to get all nice and bubbly. And it needs sugar. And I hope that was the sugar and not the salt. You can see this is nice healthy yeast. Mm -hmm. It sat there for a while. Now I'm going to pour it into my bowl. And to that, I'm going to add, well, the recipe calls for five and a half cups of flour. I'm going to start with less than five. I'm going to mix it in. I've got a half a cup of olive oil and a tablespoon of salt to add to that. There we go. Some may want to do this by hand, but not me, I'm going to mix it all up in my KitchenAid. It says to knead and let rest for two, two and a half hours? Two hours, okay. My mixer starts popping up and down, do you see that? So I just add a rubber band here and <laughs> that keeps it in place. That's why sometimes you'll see rubber bands around here. It's been two hours, let's see how it looks. Oh, look at that, yeah, nice. And Risen, risen. That's a lot of batter. This is for the low carb. There we go, one, oops, two. As I said, I think everybody makes it their own way. These are the ingredients I have some cheese, some different kinds of Italian sausages, more cheese, more sausage. I'm gonna chop them all up, add them to the eggs, and then fill the crust. All right, I'm whisking up the eggs. Ooh, that smells good. They're kind of big chunks, I'm gonna chop them smaller. Next, this one. It says meat ends. I don't know what that is. Some kind of Italian meat. I'm going to also cut this up. Okay, then we have prosciutto ham. Oh, this was some expensive stuff. Wow. I know why I didn't make this last year. It's so expensive. I don't like the smell of this prosciutto. Don't tell anybody. And then some more cheese. Oh, provolone. Now I watched a lot of different videos before attempting this myself. And like I said, they were all different. And I think my hair's getting on the cheese. I watched lots of videos with recipes on how to make Italian Easter pie. They were all different and every recipe I checked called for a different amount of eggs. So this is for two pies and I only added six eggs, which would be three a piece because that's the recipe I was kind of working with. But you know what, I think it needs more eggs. I'm going to add, I'll probably double the amount of eggs and add like six more eggs in here. I don't know, I'll add them one at a time and see. I have one more cheese I'm going to add, some Parmesan. So Italian Easter pie is also known as pizza rustica and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, so forgive me. I added more Parmesan cheese on the top. Altogether I had 
11 eggs between the two pies. There it is, now isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm turning the camera the wrong way. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put an egg wash over it. I messed up the basket weave here. Oh well, no one will know in the end anyway, will they? Yeah, it looks most of the way. <laughs> I've got Erica's approval. This one's going in the oven. One recipe says an hour and 15 minutes at 350 degrees. We will see how that does. That's the low carb Italian Easter pie. That one's also ready to go into the oven. Ooh. Last time I made the Italian Easter pie, I used a pie crust recipe, but I watched a video and they used this, this recipe, I thought. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how the family likes it tomorrow. So there was enough crust to make one big pizza crust, but I don't feel like making a pizza tonight. So I'm gonna wrap it in plastic and put it in the refrigerator and probably do it tomorrow. I forgot to set the timer. So I set it for an hour, and I'll have to check it and see if it needs longer. Okay, there they are, fresh out of the oven. Okay, not quite fresh. I've let them cool off a little bit. I'm gonna try to take them out of the pans now, or maybe I should wait till tomorrow. I have decided I'm going to wait until tomorrow, and then I can warm them up in the pans. You'll just have to wait to see how they turn out. Happy Easter, everyone. Non più bright, quell'aria brillante.